Warmest greetings, Vault Hunter. As you know, I, Sir Hammerlock, am an adventurer. And they say that the ultimate adventure is love. And adventures are best enjoyed together, which is to say... What Alistair's trying to spit out is that we're getting married. And we won't... Oi! Hammerlock! Where's the party? Wainwright? You hearing any of this? Hammerlock, Wainwright. I have arrived, but there is no party. Can you hear me? Hammerlock? Wainwright? I'm here, not seeing a party. You copy? Hammerlock, Wainwright? I've landed outside town, not seeing a party. Nothing. Ah, uh, well, usually the party finds me, but I suppose I can give it a go on me own. <laughs> hmm. Nothing. I must hunt for the party myself. Hello? Hmm. Not exactly the most lively place. No answer. Guess I'm taking the scenic route to the party. I don't know what that thing is, and I don't like looking at it. What sort of beast is this? And what sort of hunter took it down? Huge, dead monster. Hell of a wedding destination. <sighs> yeah, ooh, I hope that thing is dead. Unless I get to kill it, in which case I hope it's not. Crap, 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 crap! Pull together, damn it! <gasps> hey, who's out there? Get away from my pod! Do not mess with me! I am a licensed wedding planner! I have got the certificate from the EchoNet course right here! Oh, the wedding planner! She'll know where the party's at. Sounds like she's in a spot of trouble. Ah, a wedding planner. She will know where the party is being held. I should help her. Wedding planner? She must be here for the party. Better go help her out. Wedding planner? She'll know where the party is. I better help her out. Back off! I am sitting on 400 pounds of matrimony-grade fireworks, and I am not afraid to use them! <laughs> One, babe. Oh, you must be here for the wedding. I'm supposed to check people off the list when they show up or are dead or whatever. <laughs> wedding planner stuff, am I right? <laughs> anyway, what's your name? I'm Zane. Zane Flint. Zane Danger Flint. Zane Ferocity Danger Flint. And so on. Black. And I am prepared to party down. Or up. I can party in any given direction. I'm Moe's. Here to kick ass and party. Apparently in that order. Amara. I'm definitely on the list, probably at the top. Oh, of course. I'm Gage, former vault hunter and current wedding planner. Hammerlocks told me all about you. We go way back. He's kind of my favorite. <laughs> Crap. I think one of those crazies ate my RSVP ledger. Did you have a plus one? I'm my own plus one. Just wait until you see me dancing routine. Yes, my beast. And whatever carcass that is slain for my approval. Yeah, Iron Bear. And just a heads up, I'm gonna need a whole table to myself. More like plus eight. Because my arms, you know, just... Uh, no, no, uh, going stag. My plus one is Death Trap. Built him myself. He is my bestie for the resty. Tritanium ring for armor plating monomorph. And he makes one hell of an omelet. As long as death traps by my side, I know everything is gonna be okay. Hey, hey! Vault Hunter delivery! Where my broom's at? Gage! Wonderful, wonderful! Ah, very good, very good. More guests for the uh, big event. Welcome, welcome to the lodge. Greetings, valued guest. Creepy man! You're a creepy, creepy man! Something about you is upsetting my beasts, skinny man. Who are you? Ugh, you give my goosebumps goosebumps. <sighs> there is just something very wrong about you. Serious evil vibes. 
My humble apologies. I am Mancubus Bloodtooth, host and proprietor of the lodge. Please, please enjoy your stay. Let's get the night started with a good hunting tale. Gather round whilst I recall the time I defeated the Heresian Slitherjaw, armed with nothing but a rotten banana. Ah, oh, that sounds great. Love a good murder banana story. But I just remembered one of my many spouses lives nearby, and I want to try and get my guitar back. That tale sounds invigorating. But, oh, what's that? The hunt is calling me outside right now. I can't turn down the hunt, you understand? That sounds so cool, but Iron Bear is running low on bear juice, and I gotta run out and get some. I would love to hear that one, but my agent just called, and I have a movie premiere to attend. Red carpet, autographs, that kind of thing. You understand. Oh, but you've only just arrived. No matter. The banana can wait. And if you see Winnie out there, do tell him to come in from the cold. Valued guest, I could not help but overhear your plans. I must caution you against entering the town tonight. Got a thing I have to do for the groom. Top secret, creepy man. I must do a favor for the groom. It sounded most urgent. Favor for the groom. Top priority. Move. I'm doing a favor for the groom. Ah, you have a responsibility to assist. I understand. If you must venture outside the lodge, you should know. The people of this town are all afflicted in their own ways. Some might say cursed. You might encounter some strange behavior. Now, I've grown to trust your judgment, Vault Hunter. Can I ask you, is there anything that scares you? Oh, sure. Birds. Any kind. Big, small, live, cooked, doesn't matter. Can't even eat a chicken nugget. Fear is a human flaw. I am incapable of such... Oh, you know what? Tapioca. That texture. Ugh. Uh, yeah. Exploding bees. All you hear is a buzz, then a boom. I fear only one thing. My personal trainer on leg day. Well, I can't argue with that, but those are troubles of the real. My fears are more intangible. Breaking and entering! I knew this trip would be fun! Isn't this act known as breaking and entering? Isn't this breaking and entering? Oh, sort of feels like we're breaking and entering. We ain't breaking anything, we're just entering. And I already paid our deposit, so I'd like to see them keep me out. seen anything like a new vessel yes you'll do nicely what the devil I see your fears Wainwright I will heal them I will make you someone new you leave Vault Hunter, what in the devil happened to Wainwright? A bunch of raw wearing wackos attacked, but we fought him off with style. Wainwright's gonna be fine. Rogue cultists at the venue attacked us, but we fought them off. Wainwright is safe. We went to the venue, and, and things got a bit... culty, but he'll be fine. Probably. No promises. We were at the venue, and all these culty weirdos attacked. He'll be alright. I think. Well, thank heavens you were there. Look, he's coming around. Winnie, are you alright? The heart still beats. Winnie, wake up! 
Let me get a look at that fancy ring there, Wainwright. My friend, I wish to examine that ring. Hey, Wainwright. Let me see that cool ring, okay? Wainwright, Beta, could I see that ring for a moment? Oh, sure, of course. Hey, I'm Gaddy. But please don't talk to me. Every time I speak, I have to... Uh, hold on. Woof! Uh, uh, <gasps> That's a raw deal there, girl. While I have you, any idea where Burton Briggs is at? I have never experienced whatever that is, but it looks most unpleasant. Now, where is Burton Briggs? <gasps> Sucks to be you! <clears throat> but, uh, while I'm here, any idea where Burton Briggs got off to? Just don't puke on my shoes and we won't have a problem. Do you know where Burton Briggs might be? Ah, damn it. You're talking to me. Okay, I think Burton was talking to Halan a while ago. There we go again. Much obliged, and thank you kindly. Enjoy hurling your guts out! Thank you for your assistance. And now I leave you to your... regurgitating. Thanks, appreciate it. Good luck with the, uh, vomiting. See, ah, what did I just say? Watch the shoes! Also, thank you. Oh yeah, sure thing. You're very welcome. Oops, I spoke again. Holy crap! You scared the bequeezus out of me. What do you want? Looking for some fella named Burton Briggs. Where's he at? I hunt for Burton Briggs. But not to kill him, just to be clear. Trying to pin down the whereabouts of Burton Briggs. Any ideas? Uh, I'm tracking down one Burton Briggs. Got anything for me? <laughs> Lass, please don't be some kind of weirdo like those other two. I presume there is something super weird about you two. All right, guessing you're cursed too? What's your thing? Please don't be weird, please don't be weird. Hello? Oh, piss off with all that. I don't need this right now, or ever! Screw you! Whoa there now, don't gotta be coming at me like that! Just looking to find Mr. Burton breaks us all. This all seems very uncalled for. Simply tell me the whereabouts of Burton Briggs, and we can put this interaction behind us. Uh-huh. Look, just tell me where Burton Briggs is at, and I'll leave you alone. You're going to want to watch your tone. Now tell me where I can find Burton Briggs before I lose my temper. Burton? That drunken moron who plays detective? Yeah, I know where he is. Told me he was going off to the freaking cemetery, like an idiot! Now get out of my face! Sheesh! Who put a bee in her bottom? Fine. Also, I suggest you try meditating. Okay, good luck with your blood pressure. You know, when I'm angry, I usually just punch a cement truck. Maybe try that. Bye! Morons! Everyone's morons! And I'm so angry about it! Ah, damn it! Named Burton. Burton Briggs. But I think I go by Bert. Let's try it out. Call me Bert. Uh... Howdy, Bert! How are they hanging? Greetings, Bert. Uh... What's up, Bert? Your name is Bert. No, that's not right. Burton it is. So, what's your story, friend? Some mad lad dropped a cursed ring that got itself onto me bud Wainwright's finger. Trying to figure that whole thing out. I must release my friend from the grip of a cursed ring. I seek to know its nature. Dealing with a cursed ring, but I'm a little in the dark and I need some recon. My friend is, uh, like, cursed? By a ring? I'm looking for more info. Cursed ring? Hmm. I've got a hunch it's got something to do with those bonded. And I always follow my hunches. I think. But if it's the bonded you're investigating, you should head to the town archives. Here, this key should get you in. My way of saying thanks. Now that we're working together, here's a completely unsolicited monologue about my life. Actually, I was enjoying the quiet for a... No, that's okay. You don't have to. Really? You don't have to? I'm good. You don't have to. It all started... Uh, well, I'm not sure. I'm a man without memories. There's just a cloud of dark fog in their place. Hey there! Greetings. Hey. 
Hello. Shh. Okay. Look. I just need to get inside the archives so I can help me friend. I require entry into the archives. It is of dire consequence. I need to get into the archives. It's a matter of life and death and curses. Please, I just need to get into the archives. It's very important. Would you keep your voice down? This is a place of quiet learning and solemn contemplation. The bonded are monstrous, warped by the power of Githian. It's uh, pernicious. Is that the right word? I can't remember. See, I, I lost my memories. There's a cloud of dark fog. You're repeating yourself, boyo. You already told me that bit. Stop. You have already divulged this particular part of your story. Yeah, let me stop you right there. You already told me. Ugh, Burton, you already told me this. I did? Damn this curse. I'm sorry. I, I forgot. See, I lost my memories. A cloud of... Dark fog! Dark fog! See? Knew what you were gonna say before you said it. Yes, dark fog. So I've heard. Yep, dark fog. Heard it. Got it. Dark fog lost memories, yeah. Oh, right. Uh, okay. You want to see true power, worm? Bonded champion! As Githian's strength flows through me, now it flows through you! Destroy them! I shall do as you command. Hey, Skinny Malink. You said you could help with this whole thing. Greetings again, Thin One. I have returned with the device. Hey, Slim. You said you could help me out with this? Mancubus, John, you said you could help with this strange artifact? Indeed. Please place this relic you've recovered into the player so that we might reveal the mysteries of the yard. Hammerlock, boyo! The way to the mountain's blocked, and there's some sort of hunting camp. Got any ideas? Hammerlock, the way is blocked and there's a hunting camp. Have you knowledge of this place? Yo, Hammerlock. The way's blocked, and there's some sort of hunting camp. Hammerlock, I reached a dead end. There's some sort of hunting camp here. Ah, yes, I have read about the local hunting traditions. Do you see a horn nearby? Often we hunters use those to announce our arrival so we aren't mistaken for an animal. Give that horn a mighty blow. Ho, Guido! So, a hunter emerges. You have bested my warriors. Well done! Ha-ha! <laughs> Enough chatter. We slash! Good slash, Guido. I went easy on you this time. Oh, did you now? You did not. Sure you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are strong, Guido. Follow me. I mean, sure. I guess a fight's one way to greet your guests. I enjoyed sparring with you, fellow hunter. Do you slash with all your guests? Do you fight all your guests? A fight to greet your guests, huh? I like your style, mister. How else can you know who you share your fire and your kife with? Now, let us share tales over the flame. Time to feast. Feast! Nourish yourself for the next slash! I insist, you are my honored guest. I feel damn incredible. What the hell is that? This strange meat courses through me like machine oil. Not bad. Ugh, hate it. Can't stop eating it. What the hell is that? Oh, that is a strange meat, but I feel powerful. <laughs> Kaif is strength, Kaido. It is power! Now, what brings you to my camp? Heading to that cursed mountain. Sounds like a good time. My hunt brings me to the cursed mountain. Ah, oh, you know, just heading to some cursed mountain. I'm climbing that cursed mountain to defeat evil. Always up for a good slash. Let's find that Wendigo. The Wendigo is our quarry. We hunt. <laughs> that Wendigo is Dunzo. Can't wait to slash that bastard! A few rounds with a legendary creature? You know I'm in. That's the spirit! 
We hunt! We must pick up the trail of the Windigo. Search the area for tracks. Found something, Hamo! The Wendigo's tracks. Found something. I've got you in my sights, Wendigo. Well done. Look at the size of these tracks. This Wendigo must be fearsome indeed. Bolt Hunter. No, never mind. We should focus on hunting this fearsome Wendigo. What's in your mind, Boyo? Get it out now. You are disconcerted. I can sense it, Hammerlock. What's on your mind, Hammerlock? Got something to say, Hammerlock? I love Wainwright. I've never been more sure of anything in my life. It's me I find myself questioning. Winnie needs someone at his side, but every nerve in my body was pulling me out of that lodge. It's all rather confusing. It's no matter, let us focus on the hunt. <laughs> Here's one, boy. Oh, it's a whiffer. Pungent. It must be fresh. I've bunked with soldiers, so I've smelled worse. Barely. Oh, yuck. Reminds me of the Partali slum yards. Ah, the odor of seared flesh. The Windigo must burn its prey to death before eating it. Fascinating. Perhaps we'll find it if we keep searching. Hey there, Bio! Having a lovely little adventure of your own, are you? What's been going on, bud? You appear to be making progress toward your goal. Kudos. What have you been up to? Well, you've been on quite the adventure, haven't you? What's up with you lately? You've got your own whole little adventure going on, don't you? <laughs> Good for you. So, what's the update? So, I battled a wizard in a contest of wits atop the spire of racking despair. I lost horribly and he imprisoned me, but luckily, I still had Paul with me, so I busted out! But not before stealing an ancient scroll that says the pearl of ineffable knowledge is, and I quote, Waiting just beyond the veil, in the wailing chasm of Tiktur Gamash! Well, looks like that's my cue. Gotta go! The creature is coming. Here we go! Kaif is balls! Got it! So, Kaif is strength by way of testicles. I see. Wait, the balls? That's Kaif? Wait, so the balls are Kaif? Oh, okay, okay, whatever, just making sure. I brought those balls back. Oh, sorry. Kaif? Wink. I have collected the Kaif. Please take them. Kaif acquired. All yours. Got two big handfuls of kaif, still warm. Ha! Gaido! You are not just a hunter, you are one of us now. We will use the Wendigo's fiery kaif to melt the ice that stands in your way. Place the kaif there, and you'll soon be back on the hunt. Oh, fun fact, just looked it up. Nagul roughly translates to soul obliteration, and Nishai means a soul tortured in hate gravy. Ah! Me granny used to make a mean hate gravy. How ominous. I'm intrigued. Good! Good to know. Very glad to know that. Well, that's... charming. Mancom sheep good at the bar said this place was an old doll facility. They can be on the paranoid side when it comes to security, but I know all the tricks around that stuff. I was hacking doll tech when I was like... six. Yo! Death trap! Another mark! Oh, uh, yeah, with the salt. Found a big R security turret. Thinking that'll do, yeah? There appears to be a security turret of some kind. Perhaps this will suffice. Huh. Big old security turret. This looks promising. Not as elegant as punching, but this big hunk of security turret could do the trick. Ooh, good find. Like I said, those things need a lot of power. Make sure it'll actually work when we fire it up. Don't you worry, lass. Me and Death Trap are gonna have a fine old time up here. Fear not. I shall protect your packmate with my life. I know what it's like to have a robo bestie. I'll take care of him, Gage. Don't worry, Gage. Death Trap will be back safe and sound soon enough. <gasps> Make me proud, babe! Go on and get to the machine on machine action! 
Wait! No, I stand by it. I defer to you, Death Trap. Get in there and do your thing, buddy. All right, Death Trap, show me what you can do. Eh, but screw her anyway. Shove the heart piece in Death Trap's eye. Just ram jam that thing in there. That's the technical term. All righty, boyo. Let's just get this crystal shoven over with, shall we? I hope you are not programmed to feel pain, my friend. Okay. I'm just gonna shove this in your, uh, eye hole. Please don't murder me for it. Okay, so this might be unpleasant. Since I'm not a robot, I have no way of knowing. Vault Hunter? Uh, is he okay? Babe? Oh, come on, babe. Please. Please. Give me a sign that you're still there. Anything? Gage. I don't think he made it. Gage. He is not responding. I'm sorry, Gage. He's gone. Gage. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There was nothing I could do. It is always painful to lose a packmate. I am sorry for your loss. I am so sorry. I know how much he meant to you. I I'm sorry. I couldn't save him. Oh, good for you. You're invulnerable. Ain't that just peachy? He repels my attacks like they are nothing. Ugh, I can't even scratch this guy. He's completely invulnerable. Return. Oh, hell yeah! Yeah, now that is what I'm talking about! Holy what? He's okay? He's okay! Yes! Okay, huh? now finish off those freaking mutants! He thinks he's invincible. Show him what that laser can do, babe! I say, Vault Hunter, I don't mean to pressure you, but Wainwright's demeanor is rapidly declining. He's been shaking rather violently against his bonds and... Oh dear, he's... No! Wainwright! Stop this instant! He's broken free, Vault Hunter. I must give chase! What the bleeding feck is happening? Elaborate. What is happening? Wait, what the hell is happening? What's going on down there? Vault Hunter, Wainwright is heading for the venue. I'm in pursuit, but he runs like a man possessed, which actually he quite seems to be. Wait, something's happening. There's a light and we... Hammerlock! Come in, boyo! Hammerlock, are you okay? Hammerlock? Hammerlock, report! Hammerlock, answer me! Oh, this is so not going to plan! Vault Hunter, I'm recalling Death Trap back to the lodge. Come meet us, pronto status! Here, I found a fast travel station for you. Wainwright and Hammerlock are down there, but Death Trap is drained. I gotta stay here and keep him going. We'll keep them off your back while you get in there and save our grooms! You're not coming with? You want me to leave you here? You sure about this? Are you certain? You're our best shot at keeping our grooms from being consumed by this giant monster. I'm delegating. This is what being a wedding planner is all about. Get going. You descend now into the fleshy shell of Githian itself. Few who set foot there live to tell the tale. But I hope you will be one of them. <clears throat> Haven't been inside a giant monster in an age. Humid in here. Great for me pores. Usually I stay on the outside of beasts. How novel. Oh, that's so gross. Everything is meat. In the belly of the beast. Legendary. <laughs> and smelly. <sighs> 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 You will never shatter our bond!
winning on your own right! feel like myself again. Are you okay, Alistair? I was so afraid. So was I. But not anymore. Alistair, let's do this damn thing. Let's get married right here. Oh, but the rings... Well, I reckon the curse is lifted, which makes these rings just some fancy jewelry. Carved from the heart of a vault monster. Quite the collector's item. Well, then count me as a collector. Vault Hunter, would you do the honors? We are gathered here today in a horrifying palace of meat and mayhem to bring these two together. Wainwright, do you take this man to be your husband? We are gathered here today surrounded by undulating meat to bring these two together. Wainwright, do you take this man to be your husband? We are gathered here today covered in viscera and otherworldly goo, to bring these two together. Wainwright, do you take this man to be your husband? We are gathered here today, in the frozen corpse of a god, to bring these two together. Wainwright, do you take this man to be your husband? Damn right I do. Hammerlock, do you take this man to be your husband? Hammerlock, do you take this man to be your husband? Hammerlock? Do you take this man to be your husband? Hammerlock, do you take this man to be your husband? Without hesitation, indubitably yes. Then, by the power vested in me as the three-time winner of the galaxy's sexiest hitman award, I now pronounce you groom and groom. Now kiss, you wonderful bastards! Then by the power vested in me as death's own emissary in this world, I pronounce you groom and groom. You may now rub your faces on each other. Then by the power vested in me by a night school certificate in mech upkeep and maintenance, I pronounce you groom and groom. Now smooch, you adorable bastards. Then by the power vested in me as the official brand ambassador for Amara Leave-In Conditioner, I pronounce you groom and groom. Now kiss you beautiful men. Oh, <laughs> I would honestly love to see what you think of strange behavior, creepy man. Good, because this has all been so totally, completely normal otherwise. All right, now you are going to have to do a little hacking to get me into the ship's system. Then I could check the logs and track down where they kept the piece of the heart. Yeah, yeah, I know how to hack. That's where you pick up a nerdy fella and smash him into the monitor until he gives you his password, right? Here I go! Hacking. Super good at it, too. Hack. Hack, Katie, hack, hack. Computers. All right. Now, if I was the heart of a dead god, where would I be hiding? Now, let's find this heart. Okay, so, like, like I know it's party time and all, and yes, I've had a few margy marks, if you must. No, but I have a secret. I brought a boatload of fireworks. But when those, like, freak show rejects attacked me, I kind of maybe forgot them in my drop pod. Could you do me a solid and go pick them up for me? Of course. Anything for the grooms? I will do this for you. And also for the grooms. You had me at boatload of fireworks. Of course, Gage. How could I say no to you? 
Thanks, doll. Get the hell away from there, you mumbling jackholes! That salvage is not for the likes of you, vermin. Hey! Hands off the goods, you wackos! Oh, get away from that pod, you lunatics! Gage, I'm looking around and seeing no fireworks. Gage, I see no fireworks here. Uh, Gage? The fireworks aren't here. Bad news, Gage. The fireworks are gone. What? Oh, come on! That was gonna be the big surprise for the newlyweds! Friggin' bummer! But, like, someone must have taken them, right? Found a tosser who nicked your fireworks! I have found the fireworks, thief. Got the thief in my sights. Found the fireworks, thief. <laughs> you are the best. And currently, my hero, but don't let it go to your head. Get those fireworks back! Gage, the cracky bangs are all set. Gage, the festive explosives are in place. Gage, we are locked, cocked, and ready to rock. Gage, we are ready for a sky-shattering kaboom. Awesome! Okay, now bring that detonator back to the lodge. <laughs> Welcome back to the party! Now that all that hard work's done, it is time to play hard! Go on, mingle! Do it, mingle! Sure thing, lass. Don't gotta tell me twice. Even though you already did. Don't gotta tell me thrice, though! Hmm. Mingling is not my jam, but very well. All right, if you insist. Also, I hate that word. Mingle? Ugh. Been a while since I had a good mingle. Uh, also, just real quick, uh, if you happen to see that Aista guy again, just, you know, put in a good word for your girl Gage, okay? <laughs> I'm not just saying that because of the, um, one, two, three, because of the some amount of marks. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 Aista. All right, Gage. You get yours, girl? Oh, good. More human mating rituals. <sighs> Ista. Gage, you little minx. Not really my type, but yeah, sure. <laughs> of course, Gage. If that's what floats your boat. Retreat! You're here! Oh, hi! I missed you! Did I ever tell you that I... that I, like, love you? Not, like... In a weird way, just, you know, love, man. It's all love. Ah, sure, drunk robot. I'll play along. How many you have there, boyo? It is impossible that you are intoxicated. You have no organs or mouth. Are you drunk? Is that even physically possible? Oh, go. Come off it, Claptrap. Can you even get drunk? Look, the important thing is I'm feeling good and looking good. Oh, 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 dancing, dancing. Come on, dance with me. I won't take no for an answer. Oh, oh, yeah, check me out. I'm dancing. <laughs> no, he's having fun. Good for him. <laughs> Far be it from me to harsh ones, Mellow. <laughs> All right, little guy, have fun. Well, as long as you're having fun, I guess. Ah, uh, greetings to you once again, honored guest. How might I say your desires? Oh, creepy man. You're by far the creepiest creep that ever creeped. But you certainly know how to own and run a bar. And for that, you will always be my friend. There is something very, very, very wrong about you, Mancubus. And I will find out what it is. But until then, I must extend my appreciation for your hospitality. Man, you super creeped me out at first. You still do, but now I know you're a real stand-up dude, Mancubus. I will always get a shiver down my spine when you talk or when I look at you, but I have to admit, I appreciate all that you do, Mancubus. I am most delighted to hear that you have taken a shine to me. I wish to offer only comfort and hospitality. Perhaps you would like to stay perpetually? <laughs> oh, 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 no, 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 no. 
No chance of that, creepy man. Yeesh! I would absolutely, categorically, vehemently not like to do that. Oh, yeah! No, 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 yeah, no! No, 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 big no. No, Bruni, not no. Oh, gosh, that's uh, <laughs> so very kind of you to offer, but no, no. Very well, as is your one. But do know this, the Lodge will always welcome you, should you ever return. So, the big tentacle monster is really dead now. What's gonna happen around here? Now that the great beast has been felled, what will become of the town? So, what's gonna happen to the town now that the monster's dead? Now that the monster is actually dead, what will happen to this town? Do not let it trouble you. The Lodge will provide. And after all, wheresoever there is death, there is also new life. Now please, do enjoy the festivity. Hey, there's the happy couple! I hope you are feeling joyous this day, my friends. Hey there, lovebirds. Well, if it isn't my favorite grooms. Oh yes, the festivities are quite well in full swing. My husband and I, whew, I do like the sound of that, my husband. We couldn't be happier. Ah, nothing to it. It was good fun. Hell of a wedding weekend. And hey, congratulations, you two. I am pleased I was able to assist. And may I say, congratulations to you both. Ah, shucks, just happy to help. Congratulations, you two. I'm very glad I could help. Congratulations, you two. Thanks, Vault Hunter, for everything. Sleeper be on Oi! Oi! Here for a book of unspeakable horror. The Nibble Nomicon? Sleeper be on the gate. I require a text titled The Nibble Nomicon. Written by here. Here to requisition one copy of The Nibble Nomicon? Looking for a book called The Nibble Nomicon. Know anything about it? You need a library card. But I can hardly hear you over this blasted bonded book club. No one is taking anything out until I can hear myself think. Got this book for you to stamp, or brand, or whatever it is you do with these. I have the text I require. I presume you'll want to make a record of it. Got the book. Do your thing so I can get out of here. This place gives me the creeps. I got my book. No thanks to you. Just do your job and I'll be out of your hair. Oh, you found the book. Well, go on, give it here. Wonderful. Just leave it on the bar so that I may attempt one of its recipes. Grand! What are we having? I do love a good tom-cooked meal, but I'll admit I'm a little spooked by that day. Very well. If you transform, I hope you will be more of a challenge than the librarian. Okay, but shouldn't we retreat to a minimum safe distance or something? All right, but if you turn into a monster, I'll tear you apart tentacle by tentacle. No need to worry, I am quite proficient in such rituals. But what to make? Damned chowder? Too salty. Sugar-free sugar cookies? Too evil. Perhaps, <laughs> yes, of course. Xylorgos queso for this recipe. I must summon the foulest, most profane substance known to the Nibble Novicon. Yes, yes. With the case so complete, the townsfolk will be drawn to the lodge in droves. Of course, someone should taste it, just to be sure. You know, I was on board till the cilantro. Ugh! It's like soap, only worse. At least after soap, your mouth's clean. Queso is carrion food, and I am an alpha. I must decline your offer of cheese-related sustenance. Oh, I would, but I'm, uh, super cursed with unspeakable lactose intolerance. Yeah, let's go with that. Believe me, I'd love to, really I would, but, uh, it's not my cheat day, so no. <laughs> oh, no, no, not you, dear Vault Hunter. Simply feed a bowl to the Nibble Nomicon. 
We shall see soon enough if the recipe was a success. I go by DJ Midnight. Gage hired me to spin dark dirges and mix malevolent melodies in the name of undying love. But my samples are stale, putrid, insufferable. I require new samples. Record some sinister sounds for me, yes? Sure, why not? I used to do a fair bit of recording in my day. Corporate espionage and the like. Dark dirges. Malevolent melodies. Sinister sounds. Yes, yes, I am into it. Sure, that sounds like a task befitting my particular skill set and not super creepy. Into it. No problem. I used to play piano, you know. I was uh, pretty damn good. Excellent. And so our dark journey begins. We hunt for the sinister sound. Take that echo recorder, my trusty... Just so you know, it's also cursed. All right! Cursed day! What now? This means little to me. What now? Sure, whatever. So, what now? No. Kidding! What now? Go out and find some unholy percussions. My desire is to shake the skeletons of my ancestors, as well as the living guests. Hmm. Perfection. You're a weird one, aren't you? You are strange. I like that. What is the nature or nurture that twisted you like a windswept tree? So, have you always been this way, or did Chiptune twist you into the malign creature you now are? Have you always been so... you? Or did your parents not, you know, hug you? Who can say? Now, let us continue our duet of despair. I require the wailing of hungry wolven, preferably with blood on their breath. Even contemplating that sound makes my hair rise on ends. Insidious, decadent, phantasmagorical. But we are not done. What does our sound yet require? Ah, yes, a banshee. She lives nearby. Banshee! Fell in love with one once. Shame. Banshee. This should be interesting. Banshee. That's the screaming one, right? Banshee. That's the one who screams, isn't it? A lost one's wails torn between this world and another. That will allow my sinister sound to transcend this mortal plane. Find the Frostbiter Banshee. Get her to scream. Hiya! Could you scream into this cursed recorder? Pretty please. Could you do me a favor and scream into this cursed recorder? Do me a solid and scream into this cursed recorder, will ya? Would you mind screaming into this cursed recorder? <coughs> oh, darling, I've heard a lot of screaming in my day, but that was lovely. Take it from the top. Terrifying. I must hear it again. It's not a fetish. Uh, a little louder. I can still hear out of my left ear. Again, please. You remind me of my time in the ring. She's in danger. The fish queen in the lake. My people, I'm a fish. You've got to help me. The fish queen, you say? Well, all right then. What's it to be? You serve a sovereign mistress called the Fish Queen. I understand. What do you require? Uh, sure, man. Anything for the, you know, Fish Queen. What do you need? Oh, the Fish Queen. Right. What do you need? I will need to descend into the Underlick. But to do so, we will need to restore my crane to working order. Find me a new power coil. You know, the last queen I ran into was running a cult. That isn't what this is, right? A fish cult. What exactly is the nature of your servitude? Is this a fish cult? Hey, probably should have checked earlier. Is this some weird fish cult stuff? So, this whole queen thing... <laughs> you aren't in a fish cult, are you? What? No! No, 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 no! 
The order of the Mesopelagic Yuri Halin is not a cult. It's a very healthy constitutional monarchy. We don't worship her, but I'm a queen's fish, so I must do my duty as a patriot. So this fish queen of yours, she's in danger, you say? How is your fish queen in danger? So, what exactly is going on with your extremely normal fish queen? So your fish queen's in danger. What's up with that? Oh, you are so kind to ask. The ravenous abominations we've been at war with for eons, the cephalopod's dominion, they're planning to break the concord of abyssal depths. I can't believe those guys. Ah, how reason. Oh, oh no. They wouldn't. I know, right? Now you understand <sighs> what's at stake. I've got to warn her, my queen. Here's your brother. I can see the family resemblance. Here is your brother. Here's your brother. Here's your brother. Family reunion. We're not literally related racist much. It's metaphorical. We are brothers in arms, in service to our queen. Now please, give me some privacy as I prepare myself for an audience in the queen's court. Oh, hey, it's you. Guess what? I made it. I told you my genius plan was going to work, even if I am still stuck to my rocket. Whoa, Max Bio. You actually made it. Good on you, crazy man. It seems highly unlikely that you survived this journey. Holy crap, Max. You actually survived. How the hell? Wait, what? You, you actually lived through getting shot into space? Of course I did! But I'm in kind of a weird spot. Woo! Thank you! You really saved my frozen nods! Now how the hell am I gonna get off this planet? Huh. Well, I suppose I could shoot the fuel tank. I suppose if I shot the fuel tank, it would propel you. Dangerous as that sounds. I mean, I could just, like, shoot the fuel tank? I guess I could shoot the fuel tank? Not much less crazy than your plan already was. Hmm, but I also might explode, right? Always a chance of that, yeah. That is also highly likely. That's never stopped me before. Come on, be cool, like me. That is indeed a distinct possibility. Well, no risk, no reward. Do it, I'm getting out of here. Yay, I didn't explode. Okay, bye, thanks again. I'm free. Sure as hell won't be seeing him again anytime soon. I hope it is a good death, Max Sky. We hardly knew ye. I have the distinct feeling that I'm never gonna see him again. For real this time. Well, I'm sure that's the last I've seen of that crazy bastard. I am a robot with the implanted memories of a long dead captain you don't know named Jericho Dyer. Get over it! Right, will do. I am over it. Cool. Already done. Okay, I'm over it. An echo log! There's an echo log here. An echo log? Nice. Well, there's an echo log. I awoke next to Crystal after a terrible dream. Saw the rest of the crew, they were coming after me, attempting to destroy Crystal. They're all dead now. And I killed them! Crystal says it's best! I'm starting to think this crystal is up to no good, you know? This crystal reeks of the sinister. Calling it! Crystal's evil! This is just like those supernatural romance books that I don't read. Getting a real creepy vibe from this whole crystal thing. <laughs> You're right! The crew didn't go mad. It was dire. We have to destroy the crystal! <laughs> Plug me into that computer console, and I'll activate the mining equipment. Where that bot? You know, life took a dark turn for me recently. Ran out of booze. In 
in entirely unrelated news, some memories have started coming back to me. But not everything. What was your name again, friend? Well, you won't remember anyway, so my name's Zanzi Cole, hottest bandit game show hostess on Pandora. I am known as Flack. It is a name for which I have no special attachment, but it is functional. Mozera Hayusinian Yonnun Alamir Andreevna. And don't forget, uh, Amara. I'm personally offended by this, by the way. I'm frickin' famous. I see. I'll try to remember that this time. Burden! Birdie Bird! Bert Bert! I have arrived, Burton. Uh, hello? Burton? Burton, I'm here. Where the hell are you? Hey there, friend. No need to fret. I'm here. You've got secret passageways, and you weren't gonna share with old Zane boy? Hmm. Secret passageways. And you were not going to share with me? So you weren't gonna let me use your secret passageway? Not cool, dude. Oh, come on. I love secret passageways. Why wouldn't you share the love, man? What can I say? Guess I'm just mysterious like that. Besides, a man's gotta have some secrets he keeps just for himself. Hey! This loyal Pittman fella kicked the bucket trying to give CPR to a zappy critch named Elmer. That he loved? Well, that's a new one. One Lyle Pittman perished trying to give mouth to mouth to an electrified critch. It was apparently his beast, named Elmer. I get it. This one says Lyle Pittman. Looks like he died trying to give CPR to an electrified critch that he loved, named Elmer. Oops. Lyle Pittman died giving CPR to an electrified critch named Elmer, which apparently he loved. That's not her. I've got that obituary right here. Oh, poor bastard. This lass, Audra Mayhew, went missing, presumed dead. Looks like she was blathering on about a fish queen or some such nonsense. It sounds quite familiar, actually. This is Audra Mayhew, who was apparently obsessed with a fish queen before she went missing. Presumed dead. This seems familiar somehow. Let's see, we've got Audra Mayhew? Missing, presumed dead, after rambling endlessly about reaching the fish queen. Why does that sound familiar? Audra Mayhew went missing, presumed dead. Apparently, she wouldn't stop rambling about saving the fish queen? Ah, oh, that sounds familiar. Oof, that's a shame. But she's not the one we're looking for either. Some mad boy named Brad with two Ds. Croak trying to taste the danger. My kind of fella, that one. This one is named Brad with two Ds. He was apparently attempting to taste the danger when he died. I hope he did taste it. The danger, that is. This one says Brad? Just bread, uh, with two Ds for some reason. Looks like he died trying to taste the danger. Brad with two Ds? It's short on details, but it looks like he died trying to taste the danger. Whatever that means. Yeah, that one's a wild story. I'll tell you about it sometime. <sighs> I, uh, I can't go in there. Huh? You're scared of dead folk? There is no need to fear the dead. What's wrong, bud? Crips give you the willies or something? Oh, don't be scared, Burton. I'll protect you. No, it's not that. There's this whisper of a memory. Uh, go on ahead. Find the girl. Found a weird little boxy thing on a grave that says Iris. I have discovered a distinct box upon a grave marked Iris. Burton, found a strange box and a grave marked Iris. Burton, not sure if this helps, but I found a weird box and a grave marked Iris. Iris? That must be the girl. Yeah. That name, it stirs something in me. Something pecking at the fringes of my mind. You remember something! Hey, good for you, Bolt. I remember everything, but I suppose I am proud of you. Wait, you remembered something? You? Well, that's 
Oddly convenient. Yeah, I mean, I'm as surprised as anybody. But hey, if anything should happen to me, I need you to keep after this mystery in my stead. So here, you hold on to the box for safekeeping. Well, well, what do we have here? This is exquisite. Well, quit it with the suspenseful pause already, fella. What do we find? I admit that you have piqued my interest, as well as my desire to acquire new items. What have we discovered? Is it loot? Please tell me it's loot. Ooh, maybe a legendary? Whatever it is, it's mine. I found it. Also, what is it? It's a pistol, but it's been merged with some kind of Iridian technology. Quite a rare artifact you've got here. Well, a ghost or something. That's a new one. I am most unsettled. Uh, the hell was that? Okay, what was that? So you did see it. Incredible. This is a bottomless well of secrets. And all we're hauling up are more questions. I found the way to the art gallery. Something's going on in there. I can feel it in my heart. Hunches? Did I get it? Look at us, would ya? Already finishing each other's sentences. So cute! Hunches are just thoughts you lack the means to explain. Hunches, yep. Don't say hunches at me again, Burton. I mean it. Hmm. Okay. Burton, come and join up with me. You're gonna wanna see this with your own eyes. Burton, join me at this location. I found her. Burton, I found her. But you gotta see this for yourself. Burton, she's here. Come to me. On my way. You're safe now, little one. Uncle Zan took care of all the monsters. I am Flack. Do not fear me, small apparition. You are safe. It's okay. Don't cry. You're okay now. I'm Moe's. Don't be afraid. I I'm here to help. My name is Amara. What's your name, little lass? What should I call you, small one? What's your name? What is your name, child? I'm, I'm Iris. Met a little ghost lass, cute as a button she was. Said she wanted to go home and poof, disappeared. Her name was Iris. I have made contact with an apparition. She stated her desire to go home, then disappeared. Her name was Iris. I just met a ghost, I guess? She said she wanted to go home, then disappeared. Her name was Iris. There was a girl, a, a spirit. She said she wanted to go home, then vanished. Her name was Iris. That name again? Wait. Iris. She's my daughter. Oh, jeez. That's... Oh. Jeez. You gonna be all right? That is highly emotional. Are you able to regulate your feelings? Whoa, you, uh, you okay, bud? Burton, are you going to be okay? But if that portal thing is the key to seeing her again, it's coming with us. Grab it for me, would you? You'll have to excuse my wandering mind. This has all been a lot to take in. I know now. I know that I forgot her. Curse or no curse, how could I do that? What kind of a man am I? I'm sure it wasn't your fault, bud. Don't beat yourself up about it. I'm sure there is some explanation. Do not, as they say, beat yourself up. Which would be very difficult to do. Burton, I don't know what to say. I'm sure it's not your fault. Don't blame yourself, Burton. Our minds do weird things in response to trauma. I used the scope on that pistol to focus the effects of the portal device, thinking we might be able to create a window into the... Uh, wherever she is now. <sighs> so, is this gonna, you know, do anything? Are we waiting for something? So, what happens now? Okay. 
Now what? Trust the hunches, friend. Trust the hunches. Just a quick jaunt out of the known universe. I'm game. Let's go! Fascinating. I must know more of this. I will go. You want me to go into the big scary portal? <sighs> okay, why not? Uh, through the spooky interdimensional portal, you mean? Yeah, okay. Well, that's new. A lot of new things today. I am... speechless. Whoa. Just... whoa. I don't think we're supposed to be here. Where am I? Lass? Little one? Hey, you okay? Iris? Looks like you're gonna be all right, little lass. I believe you are safe now, little one. I think so, sweet girl. I think so. I think you're going to be okay now, Iris. You let her go! You cannot have her! Give her back! No, she's coming with me! Oh, God! They're in the real world now. A new type of hunt. Thrilling. All right, you creepy bastards, bring it on! I don't care what you are. I will destroy you! Papa? Where did he go? Dunno, little lass. But I've got a notion. Come along, then. I am not certain, little one. But I have an idea. Join me, yes? I don't know, sweet girl. But I have a guess. Follow me, okay? I'm not sure, Iris. But I have an idea. Come with me, okay? Yeah. Okay. I'll be right behind you. Hey there, bud. Hello, friend. Hey, man. Burton. As soon as we went into that place, I... I remembered everything. I couldn't do it. I just couldn't relive that moment again. When it happened, it broke me. And I've been trying to put the pieces back together ever since. Please, tell me she's safe now. Tell me she's at peace. Come on down from that perch. There's someone who wants to talk to you. I believe this little one has something to say to you. There's someone here who wants to speak to you, Burton. I think there's someone who wants to speak with you, Burton. Huh? Sweetie, I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't know it was you. I, I couldn't save you. It's okay, Papa. Don't cry. No, it's not okay. It's never gonna be okay. Because you're gone. I'm so sorry. I forgive you. I love you too, sweetie. Always.